Do they have like a photocopy in the middle of this room for some fucking reason? All this futuristic equipment, they still need a photocopier. And also they use whiteboards. Uh -huh. uh, this is one of the workshops, by the way. That's pretty much all this is. Alright. Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to XCOM. And we have a light mission here, but I'm actually bringing along a lot of, like, no rookies this mission, believe it or not. Because um, I simply am looking down my list and I have a lot of people that need just some levels. Um, uh, like, here, let me just remove Foxhound so you can see, like, while Lights Out, Railgun, and Rip are there at the top, everyone else is kind of, like, fatigued or wounded right now. So this is my main problem is I, I have to cycle some people out and, um, you know, I got to pick someone to cycle out. Uh, and so, like, we just need better, uh, we don't need, we don't need upgraded rookies anymore, we just need the people that I upgraded before to basically become more competent people on this team. Um, so on this team we got, um, uh, our, uh, infantry, we just replaced our infantry with just simply someone else that hasn't gotten a level yet. Uh, Vanuki was being built to be a, an Overwatch, uh, Rocketeer. I don't know how useful it's gonna be, I probably... When, when push comes to shove, I'd prefer a Rocketeer that does like, as much fucking damage as possible, but who knows, this might actually work out really well. Uh, he's also running around with Shatter Ray, even though he has a scope, but that, it still it still work fine. Um, our scout uh, is running around with armor, and th this is uh, one of the scouts I was building with one of my default scout builds, basically. Uh, Van Dorn, the general, uh, was already building him to be like some sort of like just hollow targeting. Uh, sniper, this person has not gotten a single level, so I figured it's a good time to start leveling another sniper. Uh, Haladin, uh, is probably one of the only actual veterans on this team here, uh, besides the medic. The medic was being built to be a full-on support medic, and the, the assault was kind of, uh, well, let's see here. Yeah, the gunslinger, he's the one I, I brought last time to do the, uh, uh, the mission in... Like to, to I'm, I'm keep sending him on to these exalt missions, so it's good to give him a nice level here. I figure. Um, I'm also having real trouble actually deciding what items to bring along with people. I mean, Foxhound has a, a flashbang here. I guess the scout should have a, a HE grenade because we don't actually have a grenader with us. Um, uh, like not, I I was deeming that not as important. Like uh, honestly, on the scouts, I want like defense, defense. But like some people like the you know, it's a lot of the time on my. Uh, on my gunners and stuff, I put like a regular laser sight because I want them to aim well. And like, it, you got to think to yourself, it's like, you know, it's either I move into position and I can throw a grenade, I have that opportunity if I need to like switch places because he can't switch to a pistol. Uh, so it, it, giving him a grenade gives him something to do during his turn, I figure. Uh, that's the best thing I can think of to, of, uh, to put on like the gunners. Um, and I could probably give him a med kit too, just because it's like one of those emergency things that he can do. Um, Infantry, I give the clips just because they do well with lots of ammo. And laser sound, like, well, it, it stacks the bonus twice. As I said, I don't know exactly what you guys put onto the, these soldiers. I don't know if you guys have suggestions. I'm willing to hear them. Uh, I'm, I'm literally asking if you want to just tell me in the comments. Um, if you have some suggestions for different things. I know with, like, the Rocketeers, the best thing to bring on the Rocketeers is a scope for aim and an extra rocket. Because then they get two rockets, uh, which is amazing. Uh, you can also bring a Shredder rocket. If you don't care about the aim, uh, you can bring like a shredder, a normal rocket, or like three normal rockets. Like, I'm, I'm not fucking kidding. Like, look at this. Like, look. Oh, well, you can only have one rocket here. But, 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 you can bring a shredder rocket along if you really want. To be honest, I, the one you get from a passive on the, on the Rocketeers is to me good enough. So that's why I bring the scope along. But as I said, tell me what you equip on some classes with some interesting loadouts that maybe you want to see me bring along. Um, because I'm already doing, like, assaults and scouts with, like, laser rifles. I think with my scouts, I'm not going to give them, uh, uh, shotguns anymore. I think I'm going to give them actual regular weapons and potentially marks, one with a marksman rifle. I'll see how that works out. Uh, so yeah, let's go. That's enough talking. It's my fucking show. I'll talk as much as I want. But I really want to hear, though, like, what you guys think is good loadouts, interesting loadouts. Like, there's different ammunition types I could also get, so there's that. I'll maybe consider looking into that. Moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Seems like a good idea to me, though. Well, this should be really easy. dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from cities around the world. You'll be deploying at the site of the latest report. Alright, well, here we are, and I'll be honest, this is a mission restart. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. 
Strike one is cleared to engage. Basically, we had a bit of a glitch in the last, uh, well, in the, my last attempt at this. Um, uh, here we have uh, floaters. Uh, we had a bit of a glitch. The glitch was basically that um, sniper probably shouldn't have moved up first. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just shoot this guy. Um, basically, the... Uh, how shall I say? Uh, we had a floater and he was invisible and killing all my guys. Um, like, actually invisible. It was really fucking weird. And really annoying, too. Uh, so I just- I didn't have a save far back enough, so I opted to basically say, uh, fuck it, and, uh, I- I reloaded the entire thing. I'll- you know, I- I'll, I can show you a clip in just a second. Because since I recorded, you might as well see it. Let me just kill these guys first. Uh, oh, we could get, like, two shots on these guys. I probably should have ran and gunned him, but let's try and take- let's try our new two-shot ability here. Miss, and... Hit! There we go. Nice. At this point, I think we're gonna kill him, pretty much. Actually, it's not a guarantee. I probably should have not done that. Well, you know, I can just rocket it. Well, let's- let's see. We got a couple of options here, so we can try and heater his ass first. Ah, uh, never mind. We did get him, after all. Alright, well, um, let's just pause for a second and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what happened here. As far as they're concerned, they've only seen one, one guy here. They're gonna be in for quite the surprise. <laughs> yeah. The hell? Where the hell is he? Okay. I, I don't know where this other guy is. That's that is like that. He killed us from like up there, and so this guy's probably dead next turn. I was actually hoping to get a shot on him. Right, let me go around here and see if I can find him. Oh, so he's taking a reaction shot. One second. I think he's invisible. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to see this guy. This has happened more than one time. This is why you really cannot play this on Iron Man. No, he's still not there. Apparently this time it counts towards his, uh... What in the fuck? Sorry, I'm, I'm confused as shit. I'm gonna- I'm gonna reload this, don't worry, I'm just- I'm curious on where he- at. What the f- Where the hell is that? What? He's like- he's like either right there or something like that. Is that actually somewhere where they can, like- What? Where is this? It's like right there. You still can't see him. That's affirmative. This is beyond one of the, the stupidest fucking uh, engagements I'm ever doing here. There, there's really- I don't see a reason why we shouldn't see him. Yeah, he's like right here, but why can't we fucking see him? He can see us?! So there you go, kind of bullshitty, and I lost like two teammates kind of trying to figure out where the fuck he was. Uh, cause he wouldn't move, he just kept overwatching from the position that he was in. Which is really fucking weird. Uh, but it was, it was super, super irritating. And we're gonna move this person up here. And we're gonna get the mail next turn. Actually, can we get the mail next turn? No. We have to go here. Okay, there we go. That's that's fine. That's affirmative. 
Alright, well, with this one, uh, no, we don't want to go to the heater. We want to go stay with the uh, sniper rifle. Steady our aim. We're not going to move too incredibly, incredibly far up with these people. Posizione confermata. On the move. Heading to that location. The meld is worth it every time. And this would be, I think, my assault. I'm on the move. Now this would be my, yeah, it's, that, this would be my infantry. My infantry doesn't have many upgrades though. Oh, uh, you've apparently been here this whole time. Just hunker down. Oh, we have mutons on this map, apparently. That's okay. I eat mutons for breakfast. So when it apparently says light alien activity, it's lying to me. And the meld is ours. Only four, though. I kind of like the cover that this in inter interior of this library presents me, though. Uh, but for the time being, let's just kind of head up here. Alright. And we're going to cover here. Oh man, I love me some meld. Where's the next meld to deposit? I'm probably just gonna head towards the library here, just because I like I, I just like it too much. Alright, we're good there. See so our scout kind of head into the library here. This is not count as cover. Apparently not. Oh, I guess, actually I can kind of see the. Well, that's cover, but this is not. Whatever. Let's go over here. All right. It's definitely some nice uh, place here. And we're gonna just run to this the, the the gunner over here. And we don't really see anything else that uh my other fellows don't already see. Avanza. Heading there now. Although I, I really hate it. I seem to always get that that those cases where it's just like, oh that one tile that you didn't explore, motherfucker. That's where they were the whole time. Alright, so this sniper can actually go over, over here to potentially get a, a better shot downside. Oh, they're in there somewhere. I'm gonna just assume they're on top or something. Oh, here we go. What? Okay. Nice! Oh, Muton. What the fuck kind of cover is that? I like your style. Now I kind of regret moving. Well, actually, my sniper can still get a nice uh, unflanked shot there. Uh, probably should have shot the Muton. Now I think about it. That's okay. Uh,. This leaves us a nice opportunity to, to move up and get some kills then. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Gunner is actually gonna go suppress now. And this means my scout can also get a shot. I think we also have Halo targeting on this one too, yep. Does it stack twice is the question that I'm asking myself. Um... Apparently you can't get a shot off on him. Oh really? You can't can't get a shot off on him? Oh, just overwatch. Uh rather not move anybody into really any any really shitty half cover. We could start doing a flank, basically. Yeah, this person already is in terrible cover, so we're gonna move her up here. On Overwatch. Heading there now. Ah, uh, see if we can get a shot with her medic up. No. I'll get him next time. Who's this one? This is our infantry. Infantry isn't very useful in a situation where he's just not shooting back. 
Confirmed. Would like to improve this cover though. Alright, overwatch that. Ah, and now that guy's gonna hunker. <laughs> That's good shit. But unfortunately he's not dead. Well, he'll be dead now, I'll tell you that much. Let's keep that guy suppressed, though. Definitely. That's certainly the first and foremost of threats. And the sniper can get, like... That's an easy shot. Uh, it's a flank, so... Alright, uh, let's see here. We got, um... One floater in here. Might as well take him out. Oh! Missed. Where's the heater? Okay. Use your heater on him. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Wow, these are all dashes? Seriously? You know, we could just, like, toss a grenade and blow up his cover. This is kind of why I brought this along for this guy. Alright, now he's not hunkering down anymore. He has no cover to do that on. And that takes care of him. No longer a threat. Let's do this. Locked and loaded. Might as well do some reloads. Oh, hello floaters. What the fuck? How far did he go? Alright, well, uh, now we need to kind of reposition ourselves. Can anyone see them? No, nobody can see them. Alright, Scout's gonna move first simply because there is someone overwatching there. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's Meld over there. Fuck, let's go for the Meld. Later. <laughs> I like how I see that. It's like fucking a a like ADD or some shit. XCOM. I, I don't like the fact that I don't have a reload on that guy, so we're gonna go reload there real quick. Same thing with this guy. Ready to engage. Gunner can easily shoot though. Heading there now. Alright, watch the there. Uh, steady aim sniper. Because they're gonna have to come out for me anyways. Unfortunately we're gonna have to dash the medic out here, which is really awkward, but I, I mean it's nice cover, so we might as well do that. We are pretty much ready to engage them. This infantry doesn't have any of the, the overwatch bonuses, by the way, I'm pretty certain. Oh, come on, you got that nice Gatling laser and you do not get these shots. Come on, bro. Alright. Oh, did we just lose the meld? I think we just lost the meld. No, 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 we didn't. Yes. The meld dream is still real. <laughs> we just lost another meld. Let's get this one. Important. Priorities, guys. Come on. Alright, let's take a shot on this one first. Oh, nice. Got that one. Sniper does not have a shot. I think it's easiest for my infantry to take the first shot. And then just overwatch him for the next turn. Uh, yeah, I can try and shoot that. Nice. Okay. X-ray attempt something. We're gonna just reload our laser rifle here. And here we got some more Overwatch shots. They're just kind of like dancing around in that fucking room over there. Good job, everybody. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna reload with my gunner here. Do some more overwatches. Uh, let's see. Still set our weapon. <laughs> You're just gonna keep- it's like a fucking, like... 
uh, I got the, like, a uh, circus or something. Like, it's like fucking whack-a-mole or some shit. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they're getting lots of target practice, I figure. Oh, now he's over there? Okay. Well, this, this might be an opportunity for my sniper to, to get him. Seventy percent sure. Just you do it, sniper. Who gets the experience is not important to me. And oh wow, it's just seven. So that was a really, really easy mission. Uh, not including the fact that that last, the fucking last time I attempted it, it was just an invisible floater the entire time. I don't really understand how they can see me, but I can't see them. I've never really seen that kind of situation in vanilla, so I just assume it's a bug in Longmore. Everything by the numbers, and not a scratch on them. Hopefully every operation goes this well. Wow, so... Van Dorn didn't get a kill. They got experience for just being on the mission, though, fortunately enough. Lone Wolf, uh... More crit chance, yeah, that's the... Obviously, this is, there's only one build for my snipers. Alright, uh, this one, this... Scout, I think I'm building to be just a scout, so... We're gonna just do the standard battle scanner. Uh, build with him, and I forgot that there is actually another person. We will be watching. They may have leveled. No, I don't think. Oh no, they did. Our infantry leveled. Nice. Uh, they they just they have to scroll down there. All right, covering fire once again. All my infantry are going to be built for Overwatch. So that went that went okay. And now we got a marksman scope, uh, and they also want Illyrium for two engineers. Sure, we're not using Illyrium too much right now. There you go. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. 26 engineers and 22 scientists. And the next one I think is 29 before I can build another workshop. I can almost guarantee that's the case. Yeah, 29. So that's the th that's the number we're actually looking for to continue to make uh, to speed up the workshops and things like that. All right, body armor complete. Nice. So we can uh, build Phalanx armor. Reinforced armor, uh, extra protection but inhibits agility, and also uh, a, a rebuild alloy shiv. So it's like we can make alloy shivs now. Uh, I think I will make one though. We make uh, advanced beam lasers, advanced body armor, aerospace concepts. Uh, we can do some Illyrium stuff. Uh, I mean, the sectoid stuff is getting faster, but we're gonna go for be advanced beam lasers just because it'll give us some nice weapons too. Uh, and I think we're pretty much solid. Uh, well, actually, I did say I was going to build the, the shiv. Which, how, long, how long until that workshop's out? Five days? And how much does it cost? A lot of money. Whoa! Fucking 40 alloys to make a shiv? That's a bit, that's a bit much, don't you think? Uh, okay. I think we're going to not get, we're not going to do that. As much as I'd love to have those. Canada, panic increased. Uh, the cell is, uh, just increased their panic. So we need to do a covert operation. Uh, not with him. I want my assault to go. But the assault that I want to bring along is fatigued for two days. Uh, I wonder, can I, uh, will that, will that stay there? Let's see if we can wait for, our, for the, um, for two days. No. Excavation complete. Alright. He may be back. Let's see covert ops. That, I mean Ken is now panicking the fuck out. I want to I want him to actually go back there. How much more time does he need for fatigue? What, still two days? I I might just have to bring someone else along. Um maybe a scout. Maybe another assault that haven't, hasn't seen action, but I'd really like to have a full on. I mean, maybe the engineer actually can come this time. Uh, that's a sniper. Yeah, we'll just bring the engineer along. We're monitoring several contacts at the moment, but we may need to run a diagnostic. This doesn't look like a legitimate target. Da, 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 okay. What the fuck? The, the, the interface is going very strange. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm uh, sorry, I'm just having a bit of trouble finagling this UI. Alright, loadout. Yeah, grenades, grenades, and a uh, laser pistol. 
Actually, no, no, no. Instead of another grenade, let's bring out maybe potentially alloy plating to maybe keep her alive. Because for two extra health, I don't know. You know what? No, because when I actually do the mission, I'm gonna just fucking. Um, if it's a mi fuck, if it's a mission where I did it again. If it's a mission where basically, um, I'm hoping it's a mission where I can just kind of make her hang back and just lob grenades from across the map. And uh, like completely out of danger. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm, I'm gambling, but I'm hoping that's what I- That's what I hoped the first time I brought Rip along, but uh, we'll see. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Canada. Exalt base is not in Canada. Already we know. Well, whatever. Let's keep scanning then. Laboratory online. Very cool, another laboratory. And let's see, advanced beam lasers. Uh, well, that's coming along. I really need alien computers and some other shit. Let's hope we get like a nice uh, landed UFO at some point. 15 Illyrium for 200 bucks, no. We got 500 and we're not really using it, so. Well, I should also mention that we have the new armors now. Uh, well, new armor. But it costs six alloys and we only have six. Uh, so we'd only be able to have one of these uh, armors, but it, it gives a uh, mobility in 3 HP. So it's basically a step above slightly the armors we normally use. They're nice to have, though. Okay, scope is done. As I said, it's not that valuable. Yeah, let's, see, well, let's see how much it costs now to, to make that. A little bit less. D did it just cost one more alley? No, it's the same amount. But yeah, that's what we're building the workshops for, is to make everything really cheap. 12 weapon fragments for an engineer? No. The world can go fuck itself. And it looks like we're doing the covert op now. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, let's let's see what kind of mission it is. Excellent. Fuck, it's a four-person one. To your I don't look forward to seeing my progress. It's not going to go well. I'm going to tell you that now, especially since my sniper is out of commission here, uh, and Corporal Brick is out too. Whatever, we we'll we'll do it. Obviously, I have to. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so remember, we'll be watching.